Clay Pack. Earl Spence Jr. says his fight with Terrence Crawford will be the fight of the decade. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. So, it's going down. It's going down. <laughs> It's going down, y'all, finally, man. I'm so hyped for this one. You know, this is one of the most anticipated fights in boxing history. You know, I don't know if it's more anticipated than Maypac, but it's on that level, man. You know, the year I spent last year just talking about this fight alone, I had to stop, man, because it was going to drive me crazy to keep talking about it. And it ended up being nine, almost ten months later that the fight finally got announced so when i look at errol spence i say errol spence for better competition pbc had better competition at 147 pounds than top rank whereas there was other divisions where top rank got better fighters at that weight division than pbc but it just so happened that the welterweight division that's signed a one promotional company that's considered that was considered the top five fighters in in the world at that time. Shouts out to all the people who stuck with it, man. But I, I couldn't do it, man. I, <laughs> it was going to drive me crazy to try to keep talking about that fight. So it was time to start, you know, expanding the horizon. And there's much, much more to come in the future. So stay tuned. Anyway, Earl Spence says this is bigger than Maypac. Better than Maypac. And I just want to get my two cents on that and whether that is fact or is he capping? Is he straight capping on it? Good night, sir. Continue with your Z's. All right. That's all, that's, that's all I do. I support you, Boots. I support you, Boots. You or Earl going to see him. That's, that's it. Y'all going to see him. Y'all going to see Boots. And we can't wait. I can't wait. Why are you wait. rubbing your stomach? Listen, y'all got to see my fight. It's going to happen. Hey, I support Boots. Listen, I do think this fight's going to do numbers. I didn't think the Ryan Garcia tank fight was going to do that big of a number. I thought a million was possible. I thought it was pushing it. I thought they would really have to put some work in to hit that million. But they went over a million. And that, I think, is what initiated all this. I think that was the jump start to all of this. And then with the Devin Haney, Vasil Lomachenko fight doing well, not as good as Tank and, and Ryan, but as far as the fight goes, it was just as entertaining as Tank and Ryan. It might not have done the pay-per-view numbers they did, but, you know, it was very, very, very entertaining to watch that fight. And I think that right there was a jump-off point for Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford to say, you know what? Either we're going to do this or we're going to lose this. And the fans are not going to be happy with us if we lose this fight. If we give this fight away and this fight doesn't happen until we're both 40 years old and we Kell Brook, our American in the game, the fans are never going to let us live that down. There's no way Earl Spence could have moved to 154 and actually think that he was going to have fans want to tune in and drop the titles and just walk away from that Terrence Crawford fight and think fans are still going to want to participate with your career when you dodge your biggest fight. And that goes three times for Terrence Crawford because Terrence Crawford doesn't have the resume uh, that Earl Spence has, at, at least at 147. Now, as far as his entire career goes, you know, he, he was undisputed at one time. We cannot deny that fact that he accomplished that you know whether you feel like undisputed at at the lower weights is real undisputed because there's a new question to be asked and this is a sad topic why is it that the last three majority title holders got beat so bad at 135 pounds you know it just doesn't make that much sense and Devin Haney got beat let's not make a doubt about that or an assumption he got beat <laughs> it is what it is but as far as this fight being better than maypac you know there's a problem there because it is it's a global fight but it was a true global fight for maypac mayweather was a super duper star at that point 
Neither Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence is on Floyd Mayweather's popularity level that he had at that point. I don't think there will ever be another African-American fighter on that popularity level ever again. Because think about this. People tuned in, black people in droves, because they love Mayweather. It was a rich black man getting a lot of money, and they were just tuning in for that specific point. I, I don't know how many people... I heard when I tried to argue boxing with other black people that told me, you know what, just be happy he's a rich black man getting some money. Why are you hating? And I'm sitting there thinking, like, man, it's not hate. You know, his boxing skills aren't better than Manny Pacquiao. But that's a sad topic. So, you know, I don't think nobody will ever reach that pinnacle because not only did people tune in because he was a rich black man once again or because he was a black man, but people tuned in because they hated Mayweather and they wanted to see him get beat. I don't think either Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence has that many haters, to be honest with you. I think a lot of people enjoy both of those guys. And a lot of people might like one over the other, but I think people, for the most part, rock with both guys. Now, Terrence Crawford, you know, he's turned a lot of people off with the David Avanzian situation, but... Still, I think people like Terrence Crawford's personality. You know, you want to go catfishing? Call Terrence Crawford. Let's go get it. You want you want to go to the hood? We could call Terrence Crawford for that because he's known for punching people in the face. <laughs> so you know, he he can get down with the hood dudes as well as Earl Spence. You know, Earl Spence a wild boy though. If you want to go to the club, you probably gonna go with Earl Spence. If you want to go do some hood stuff, you know, real hood stuff in the hood, you know. I'm probably going to call Crawford because he like punching street dudes in the face. <laughs> but Earl Spence would get down the same way. You know, it's just a different crowd, a different audience, I think, that those two guys uh, would entertain. Earl Spence seems like he's, he likes to stay more around rich rapper friends. And Terrence Crawford seems like he's the type of dude that will go back to his hood and get into a street fight. You know, it just... He just seems like that type of guy. We might have goals, nine morals. Nigga, tomorrow coming tomorrow. tomorrow I was nigga. embarrassed, slept on a pallet. Nine's a palace. We're above average, nigga. This lavish life's elaborate. Like elaborate. elaborate. You couldn't handle it. That's a maze. I'm amazed. Nigga, I'm paid. Nigga, you play. Yeah, I'm sick of you. Nigga, you scared. Go ahead, kids. Nigga, you dead. Never believe the word that you said. Go ahead and say it. I act like I'm listening, but the look on my face is going to show it. I'm going to look like I'm puzzled. I act like I'm missing it. Y'all nigga missing it. I'm on a mission and I'm going to finish it till I be sentencing. I don't care what the road takes. My ride to rubber come off of these missionless. Well, from Michigan, back with the Mexicans, back with the Michigan. I'm just testing it. Now, I'm still picking Earl Spence to win the fight, but, you know, as I break their personalities down, that's how I see it. You know, I don't know either one of these guys personally from what I view of them in interviews and things like that. That's how I feel about both guys. But, you know, at the same time as you have all of that, as far as the popularity went with Mayweather, and that sold a big portion of the, of the fight, Manny Pacquiao was probably a bigger star and more popular than Floyd Mayweather, you know, the whole time that they were negotiating that fight. And that's not even to be argued. Not only did he have a wide, wide, wide American audience, but he had a global audience. He had the Philippines. He had the Asians. All type of places tune in for Manny Pacquiao. It's not just an American fight. And that's how I view Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. It is the biggest American fight that you can put together, but it's not a global fight. So for it to surpass Maypac, I think it's it's going to have to be two global superstars. You're going to have to have a immensely huge superstar from America and like a Vasil Lomachenko from somewhere else, but way more popular than Vasil, unfortunately. No hate or shade to Vasil, but Manny Pacquiao was droves more popular than Vasil Lomachenko. And I think that's what it's going to take for it to be better than Maypac and bigger than Maypac. You know, as far as it being the fight of the decade, you know, Maypac was what, almost 10 years ago now? You know, it's almost been 10 years, which is crazy. Uh, so, I, you know, I think it could be a close runner-up. You know, I think this fight has the potential of doing 2 million buys, uh, which I think would still be short of the Maypac numbers. 
but I think it would be the best that any fight has done in a very, very long time, you know, outside of Canelo Alvarez. Uh, but I don't think Canelo even shares the same audience that's going to tune in for this fight. It's going to be a huge audience for this fight. And it's going to be a predominantly American audience for this fight. Not to say, once again, that it's not a global fight, but it's not on that Maypack level. You know, it's going to take them maybe to do a rematch and us to have the most entertaining first fight ever for it to be on that Maypack level and, and to do those type of numbers. Honestly, I don't think anybody will ever do those numbers again. I think if Manny Pacquiao was to come back and he could actually fight for a title, you might see the numbers creep up, but... I don't ever think that that's going to, you know, I don't I don't know if how realistic that is anymore. You know, he's only getting older and older, and it's, the process is getting drawn out and drawn out. And a lot of the superstars that people want to see him fight anyway, they're leaving the sport. You know, I would have loved to see him fight Marquez again. I would love to see him fight Earl or Terrence, uh, maybe even Boots, or even get his rematch with Floyd. I think that would do numbers in a real boxing match, but... As far as Spence and Crawford breaking those records and even setting fight of the of the decade, I think they got to battle it out with Tank Davis and the Vasil Lomachenko Devin Haney fight before they can even start talking about the Mayweather Pacquiao fight. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. The like button for me. Share, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms. That's Facebook, that's Instagram, that's YouTube, that's Twitter. But you're more than likely to get a response on the tube. So holler at me over there. If you'd like to collab, feel free to hit my Gmail. It is flockofcards at gmail. A dot. A cup. And we are oh, mad. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Fucking with me, they ain't fucking with me, they ain't fucking with me, they ain't fucking with me. Everything I do dope, everything I do clean. You say I ain't TKOB, what the fuck you mean? I come too clean, new debit card in my blue jeans. You been a good girl, you can find out what cruise mean. Find out what new shoes mean. I rock the cops with no shoe strings. V color on my mood ring. It's 24 carats. I wanna see Paris. B4, BN of the fiscal year. You wanna get fiscal dirt? Come put your lips right here. I'm fly here, then a lurk. Check, I'm a cool cat. Matter of fact, I'm perfect. Police are perplexed, I'm cool, I never get nervous I think I'm the shit now My chick got locked up for the next six months we been OG, OG, OG They ain't fucking with me 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 Hold up, make sure you get the picture right Picture me with a red bone in a hotel watching Nick at night With an Asian chick watching Nick at night New girl with a new toy She ain't get it from Fisher Price I live the life of a pharaoh You live the life of a scarecrow Niggas want to compare flows Like thumbtacks next to arrows It ain't fair, ho So I'ma go easy Show me love when you see me I got CDs and them people OG, OG, OG They ain't fucking with me 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 OG, OG, OG They ain't fucking with me they ain't fucking with me. They ain't fucking with me. They ain't fucking with me.